everybody, I'm Eric Solander here at Indian Wells Golf Resort. Gonna help you out with a little bit of golf instruction. And today we are going to use a lob wedge or a sand wedge. And we're gonna work on a 50 yard shot where we need to hit it with some elevation. We're here at the 16th green at the Celebrity Course and a couple of different situations that you may come across. Uh, the first situation is a ball that's in the rough. The second one, I'm going to show you how to do it off the fairway. So, one thing I really want you to know and one thing I want you to really practice and be aware of is understanding how the club's designed. So, if we have this club, it's a sand wedge, you'll notice that with the club sitting very vertical, the leading edge is off the ground and this piece of the club, the sole of the club, or, or is called the bounce, is resting on the ground. If we lean the shaft forward, you'll notice that there is the leading edge is on the ground. And you'll do that primarily when you're hitting a chip. But for this shot, we need to get the ball up. So a couple of keys to help you with this shot, a couple of really good tricks. First one is if we're in the rough, it's actually a good situation. It's a lot easier to get the ball, get under the ball when we're on the rough. So if you happen to be in this situation, it's a good thing. Um, the biggest thing, the number one thing on this shot is to keep the shaft, instead of having your hands forward, keep the shaft very vertical. That's gonna help you get the ball up and allow you to get under the ball using the bounce. Let me show you. So you set the club down, keep it very vertical, hands on, feet pretty close together, back and through. And that lets the ball get up into the air and over the hazard. On this particular shot, the fairway lie, this is where it gets a little bit more of a challenge. And we see a lot of times where we try to keep the uh, leading edge forward where we gotta hit the ball. But if you notice what happens if we lean the club forward is it really can dig into the ground. And that is a issue when we're hitting off the fairway line. So watch what happens if I put the club back and do the same swing. You'll notice that it's, as I went down, it was really hard to make a divot. So that's using the bounce. So when you line up this shot, make sure that instead of having your hands forward, you have your hands very straight or the shaft very straight and then you go ahead and make your move. So hands straight. Back and through. And you'll notice that there's no divot. That's a really important thing to see. So the trick on this one, something that I want you to try on the practice screen is to, and you'll see this sometimes, Instead of having the shaft straight up and down, you know, over exaggerate it and have your hands actually start back. It's going to feel a little bit weird, but it's a really good way to train your body and your mind to hit and use the bounce. So let's check that out. So instead of having it forward, we're actually going to set it back. So here's straight, this would be back. You're going to have your hands behind you and then you're going to make your swing. It feels a little bit weird but it helps you get the ball up and off this fairway lie without digging the ground, the club into the ground. So a couple of things to remember. Lean the shaft forward is good for chipping but not really for hitting longer pitch shots. So try to keep the club much more vertical. And when you're practicing around the greens, try to even lean the shaft back and see how that helps you. Hopefully this helps you. We'll see you soon. Come on out and see us. Got some great weather and the courses are in great shape. Thanks again.